Now, I've got this in two formats. I've got a chart here to describe this, and then this is in a little bit more detail. I'm going to start with the chart. And we've got classifications. That's the name of the game when it comes to not for profit and, and governmental accounting. We've seen that before. We'll see it again. Here it is. Lots of questions will be asked on this, and let's see a little bit more. This is the level of restriction. It gets higher and higher. It gets more and more restricted in terms of the funds. The whole point of the government is to be accountable. Well, if we have money sitting, sitting around that has absolutely no purpose, it's just sitting there, it's unassigned. Great. There's no constraint to its use. You know, if the government wants to use it for something, if they want to, uh, you know, you, sure, then it'll, it'll go up in restriction level. Lots of questions here. So like they'll give you an example of money and where it is in the process and how restricted it is. And you'll have to choose one of these. Now, a question might ask, which is the most restrictive out of the ones listed? And they might give you, you know, these three, but they, they won't give you maybe the top ones. So of the ones listed, you have to tell them which is the most restrictive. And if they give you these three, committed would be the most restrictive. Other times they'll give you questions where they make up a word. So restricted, it can be reserved. I've seen that trick before where they'll ask you, okay, um, you know, which is the most restrictive? And they'll, they'll reserved will be it, which that's a trick because the word is restricted. It's not reserved. Those are just lots of tricks and you know, see those in questions as well. So as we go up, it gets more restrictive. And why? Well, for these reasons stated, assigned is appropriated. Remember, I just told you a few slides ago to definitely associate these words together as well as committed and encumbered. Now, when you assign something, this is essentially some, think of, you know, in the government, the politicians, this is some politicians saying, hey, you know, I want to, I propose a bill to use a million dollars to build new roads. That's intention without formal commitment. So if whenever you hear in the federal, I know we're not talking about federal government, right? I know I've said that before, but just for a second, think about the federal government. You know, when they propose a bill, they are assigning the money to that. Now, if the bill doesn't pass, they'll unassign it and go back to unassigned. But it's not, you're, you're not going to definitely use that money to build that road for that million dollar infrastructure uh, bill, but it's assigned. Now, what happens if that bill passes? Well, it passes, that means the government as a whole agrees to do it. So that money is now committed or encumbered. So now this is the higher, the highest governing authority establishes limits, the highest level of government. The government all agrees, I mean, by majority, I guess, not you know, everyone has to agree to it, but they agree to spend it on the infrastructure package, right? So that's what this means, right? So we've got the two internal levels. So the question says, oh, the government wants to spend money on something. Well, that would be assigned. If it says the government has decided to spend money on something that would be committed or encumbered. Next, we have restricted. So this is external. Now, if it says, okay, the bank is demanding a million dollars from the government, that's not internal anymore. Internal is actual members of the government. External is external users. So if a bank says, give us a million, you owe us a million dollars, you know, or if another governmental entity, a different governmental entity who is a grantor says you get, you owe us a million dollars, or if there's, you know, some reason, some external reason other than the members of the government deciding to spend money, then that's going to be restricted. So that's restricted. You know, a question could say uh, the town owes a million dollars to another town. That money is now restricted. It's now restricted and not any of these. Lastly, we've got non-spendable, and this is practical reason. It's why is it not spendable? Because it's been spent already, right? Uh, monies have been spent. Assets are either maturing or expiring. So you've spent the money on something already. It's too late. It's just beyond the past. It's even more restricted than restricted because it's non-spendable. It's completely been spent already. And that's our that's our tier system. So definitely, like you know, rewind a little bit if you want to hear me go over it again. I've got more in depth descriptions which I am going to display for you here on this slide. Here are more in depth wordings of what is going on. We'll start from the top this time and work our way down. So non spendable fund balance, current equity in the fund balance compares available spendable resources. Equity of a governmental fund is represented by current assets that cannot be spent. So prepaid expenditures. So again, like in that truck example, we're at that point where you've committed to buying it and you're already paying the bill, right? Uh, fund balance is displayed as non-spendable because it's been purchased already. Restricted fund balance. So fund balance resources 
with assets restricted by external authorities. So literally any, it doesn't have to be authority, it's just any party that has a legitimate claim to your money that is not part of the you know, immediate government internally. Committed, encumbered, encumbered, committed, synonyms right there, and assigned and appropriated. Fund balance resources associated with assets obligated by formal action. So we've passed the infrastructure bill, that money is now encumbered or committed. All right, so yeah, or a resolution by a city commission. Encumbered appropriations are not identified on the government's financial statements, but may be disclosed. Assigned fund balance resources associated with the asset so government intends to obligate, so intends to obligate, but not formally committed. So again, we're, we're planning on spending this money, just like with appropriations control in that book and journal entry, you know, we're planning on spending that money. Will it change? Sure. I mean, yeah, very much will change it just because things happen. It just happened during the year. So this is your intention. It's not a formal designation, right? Lastly, if it doesn't fall into one of these categories, it is unassigned fund balance resources associated with spendable assets, neither restricted, committed, nor assigned residual equity classification for general fund. So only the general function of a positive unassigned fund balance. And th this is a commonly asked question. You'll see a multiple choice. Why is that? Well, because money in any other fund has a purpose, right? We give money to a, a proprietary fund to do its business activities, or we give money to a special revenue fund to like do something for a special purpose, which is uh, that's going to be committed. And you know, we could give money to a debt service fund to pay down debt. That has a purpose. Money has a purpose in every fund except for the general fund. The general fund is where you keep your money floating around just without a purpose. So other governmental funds may have a negative unassigned fund balance if expenditures for purposes exceed the amount restricted or committed to those purposes, meaning, yeah, the other funds could go into debt, right? The other funds can have a negative uh, non-spendable fund balance. Lastly, here is a chart that I want to display for you. Again, like I said, the most important part is just seeing here, well, which funds can have a positive unassigned funds balance? That would be the general fund, right? Uh, here are examples of the other funds and what they can have. Get familiar with it. Don't really worry about memorizing this per se, uh, but special revenue fund, you know, will it have assigned monies? No, because once it's in the, in the special revenue fund, it's going to be at a higher level of committing, right? It's going to be really committed for a specific purpose. A permanent fund, well, the whole purpose of this fund is to uh, you know, usually have an external user give you the money and it's only used for that one purpose. So an external user, that's restricted. It can only be restricted. Capital projects fund and debt service fund, the, these are funds being committed and restricted for use to construct a facility, right? So we are going to have just these rather than, uh, you know, it's not non-spendable because they're actively being used to construct projects, right? To pay down debt, to raise debt, to fund projects to make money and pay that down. General fund can have it all. General fund has a good time. It can have it all.